can't stay long, okay? My mom really needs me. Well, I need you too. It's hard to believe we used to fit into this tiny bed. Well, now there are three of us. Almost. You know, I really want to make out with you right now. But you're having my brother's baby. So what? That doesn't change anything. I only love you. Look, it, it was an accident. It was stupid. It never even would have no, happened. No, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't even want to know. Emily, listen to me. I love you. I will always love you. And this baby is going to love you, too. Pregnancy makes you hotter. It's kind of messed up. Do you feel this? Hmm? <laughs> wow. It's a whole little person in there. Coming so soon. Are you scared? No, not at all. This whole time I've been pregnant, I have just felt this, this strange sense of peace. Peace? In the middle of a war. I'm honestly as happy as I've ever been. Except I wish this baby was yours. I mean, I... I wish it belonged to you and me together. Why can't a baby have two mothers? I, I would like to live in a little house, just us, and raise this baby together. Well, I never wanted children. I mean, I already have so many. My poems are my children. Boy, do they take all the energy I have, feeding them, helping them grow. I got a whole burst of poetry at Aunt Lavinia's funeral today. I, oh, I gotta write this down. Hope. Hope is a hope is a bird. Hope is a a little thing. I hope this baby comes soon. I suppose you won't have as much time for my poems once the baby comes. Emily, that isn't true. I will always have time for your poems. I promise. Well, in that case. I guess I can try and make a little time for your baby. Oh, would you? Just, just a little. I just hope this kid looks like you and not Austin. Hey, everyone. I'm home. Oh, Sorry. I cannot deal with him. I should probably go downstairs. Would you just, would you come and kiss me, please? <laughs>